All right. Mob Candy Magazine. They're great. All right, moving right along. Our next guest up, he's a well-known actor. You've seen him in a bunch of TV and movie appearances from the hit series on HBO, Broadwalk Empire. We ha saw him on Oz, currently on Blue Bloods. Let's give it up for actor Robert Clausese. <laughs> One day I'll get it right. That's all right. It, how do you say it? It's Robert Clohesse. Robert Clohesse. And we have Elias Plagianos. Thanks for having us. Thanks, you guys. I practiced Thank that name forever. Yeah, that's a hard one. You could one. do it, Johnny. You could do it. Nah, it's all no, good. Right. Well, you know what? I found out. I found out that Robert's nickname is Bobby Clo, right? Right. So much easier. It's a good way to remember it, Well, that's right? how I had it on, on the, uh, the cheat sheet. But anyway. You're friends with Jackie the Joke Man, right? Jackie the Joke Man? Yeah, I, I wouldn't call him a friend, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, he's all right. No, because you're sitting in his chair tonight. You told me to mention his name. Yeah, he's, no, he's, a, a, he's a great guy. We were on uh, uh, his show on Sirius Satellite Radio, uh -huh. Jackie's uh, Joke Hunt. So, Because I great emailed guy. him. He told me to tell you guys hello. Yeah, yeah, great guy. Now, listen, Robert, you've been in the business a long time. You know, back from all my children. <laughs> The Hill Street Blues, then you went on to Blue Bloods, back to Broadway. I mean, how did you get your big break in the business? Um, whew. I could tell you. <laughs> um, I was actually, uh, I was 28 years old. I maybe, at that point, might have earned maybe $1,000 in a year up to that point. I was 28. Acting? Acting. Uh, no more than a thousand dollars, and um, um, I <clears throat> said, you know what? Screw this. I'm not. You know, I, I didn't have an agent. Um, you know, I wasn't getting any jobs. So what I did was I just started developing my own monologues. You know, I grew up in the Bronx. I have eight brothers and sisters. I have all these crazy stories. A bunch of wonderful stories. So I started developing these monologues. And I would submit my picture and resume backstage to anything so I could just do the monologues. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the places that I auditioned for was the Williamstown Theater Festival. And um, they loved it. They said, what was it from? I made up some name, you know, and the whole thing. They didn't know, you know. And um, I got a job, $25 a week. Uh, I was a non-equity in this company. And I, had, I got a small part in a play with Blythe Danner. Uh, we became, you know, friendly. That fall, um, she asked me to be in a, a workshop uh, musical, and uh, I said, you know, sure. I didn't know her husband was Bruce Paltrow, you know, and of course her daughter is Gwyneth uh, Paltrow. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we did this musical. It was pretty bad. I suck pretty badly, but you know, the uh, MTM. Studios, Mary Tyler Moore Studios, produced the the workshop, and flew me out to L.A. to audition for some pilot. I didn't get it, and they said, "Why don't you uh, go across the street? They're looking for a new character on Hill Street Blues." Mm -hmm. And I went across the street. I auditioned, and they seemed to like me. And then I met, you know, other people, and then you know the producers, and then the head of uh, NBC, and it was probably a six-month process. And they cast me as a new uh, character on uh, Hill Street Blues. How long did that run for? Just one season. Okay, that's cool. But that then I, you know, I moved. Then I lived out in L.A., and subsequently after that, I did a series with um, Pat Morita called O'Hara. Mm -hmm. Me and him were bumbling kind of detectives, and basically went from one series to you know for about six years in a row, one series to the next that didn't last. Went for like a half a season. Uh, but, um, you know, I met my wife, I have a few kids, and I ended up staying out there for um, uh, 12 years. But um, that, that's, how I got, that's how I got my first break. That's great. But you did it before. I mean, you, you had dabbled in it in high school? Or well, no, I was in the, you no, I moved out of the Bronx. And um, in um, senior year in high school, uh, I was a fighter. I grew up in a boxing gym. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ask you something about I that. I fought in the Golden Gloves. I uh, had like 40, 50 amateur fights. And uh, I injured myself, uh, and I couldn't box anymore. And so I was in this, they asked me to be in the senior play. 
and uh, it was Kismet. And I, I, I still remember the uh, poem, and everybody started laughing. I didn't know what they were laughing at. They were laughing at my Bronx accent. But <laughs> I went like this. Come, fill the cup. <laughs> and in the flower of spring, thy winter garment of the spontaneous fling. <laughs> thy bird of youth, it... <laughs> What did that bird of youth do? So I started asking the guy, what did that bird of youth do? <laughs> so I would do. The bite of your bird of youth, they fly it over there somewhere. And everybody started laughing. I thought, oh wow, this is fun. <clears throat> but I still didn't know what I was gonna do. And um, and I wasn't really smart, so I didn't get into any colleges or anything. So I went to the local community college and just so happened that that, that year they started a theater program. That's great. And that and and that was the beginning. Nice. So it was real, you know, it was real kind of. So let's so let's get uh, let's get current. Yeah, well, let me All talk. Right? Let me talk to you about some of my favorite shows, okay? Uh, Oz and then Boardwalk Empire. You know, I, I love the Sopranos, but the Oz, Boardwalk Empire, Sopranos. Then after all those were off. Blue Bloods now. I mean, you give us a fast little short on all. And it's one of your favorites, well, right? Um, yeah. In, um, you know, Oz, uh, I had just come back from L.A., uh, you know, have a couple of kids. I need a job. I hadn't worked in a year. And um, I got cast, Arthur Miller cast me to understudy uh, the Broadway production of Death of a Salesman. And ordinarily, I, I would definitely not do that because it's the most difficult job to do. I was going to understudy the two brothers, Biff and Happy, and that's like impossible. Uh, and, and but I needed the money, and I said yes. Uh, a week after I was about to go into rehearsal with that, um, Tom Fontana called me up and said, "Listen, I'm, I I wrote this new role on uh, Oz. Would you be interested?" <laughs> I don't think so, Tom. When do I start? <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I, had a, I quit the, uh, the Broadway show, and the guy said he'd never work with me again. He hates me, the dude, but whatever. Stupid. And, uh, <laughs> like, I was going to do that, not do Oz, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. And uh, that's, how I got, that's how I got Oz. Uh -huh. And Boardwalk Empire, just auditioned for Ellen Lewis and, um, and Martin Scorsese cast me. It's beautiful. And he just won a SAG award for it. Yes, two yeah, yeah, you just did. Yeah. 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 Give this guy a big round of applause. Congratulations. Yeah. It's huge. I don't know I don't know how many of you know this, but but the SAG awards you're you're honored by your own cuz yeah. I I mean I'm a SAG member. So how how did that feel? Cuz you That just was gave awesome. You know, I wasn't going to go out uh, because um oh well, one, I was kind of busy. Two, my wife couldn't come with me, and I didn't want to, you know, it didn't really, I know it was really important. I wanted to be a part of it, but it was also like they said, oh, we got these discounted hotel rates for you, $800. <laughs> That's great. $800 That's a great. night. I went, okay. So I knew it was going to cost me like five grand to go back and forth, and you might not win. But anyway, Elias, my good buddy here, I did his film Crimson Mass. Yes. yes. Uh, he's a director, and I, I played the lead in his film. He said, Bob, of course you got to go, course, man. man. I'll go with you, and I'll pay you. I'll pay for the whole there thing. You go. Crimson so mask me. money. Yeah. That's oh, the man. Sweet. <laughs> Residuals. Well, that's yeah. what I was, that was I was just going to get into and now. he came as my date. Oh. And uh, we had the best. That's a good looking date, huh? We yeah. had the best time. It was so it was amazing, much yeah. fun. I saw the pictures. They look good. And the freaking trophies like this. Now, Brad Pitt like came up pounds. to you, you said? Brad Pitt came up to me. He goes, congratulations, dude. I went... Thanks, Brad. <laughs> and Joe Lee went. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I was going to ask you the question: uh, the, Quim the Crimson Mask. I, I know it won all over the film festivals. And was that your first feature film? Yeah, that was my first uh, feature film, and uh, I just got so lucky because um, you know I did a few short films, and uh, Robert wasn't one of them. And uh, then I wrote this role for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of workshopped it a, a little bit, and then Robert brought all of his friends on board. And I mean, he was the real driving force of why the film became what it was. Uh -huh. So uh, I uh, definitely owe my whole career to this uh, gentleman, and that's why I drove him here this that, evening. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah. Sweet. So, so Robert, you you also executive produced the Crimson Mask. I mean, well, that's uh, yeah. That was just he just did that because. Uh, <laughs> 
you wanted me to work for nothing, mm -hmm. and so you made me executive producer. Right, so you just kind of, yeah. you got the whole thing together, so you got the title? Yeah, I got the title. <laughs> you just showed up and looked pretty. No, I got, actually, I got a lot of the actors in there, guys I've worked with in the theater for years, and they came in. I had two actors play eight different roles. That's great. And they're freaking amazing. Wow. Watch it. I mean, yeah. you won't even notice these two guys that I went to school with play eight different roles in it. Wow. So it was really low budget, but uh, it doesn't look low budget, you know, it looks great. Yeah, it was a crazy uh, kind of journey, you know, going from this really small film and then it won all of these awards and we traveled all over the world, uh, Cannes, France, Amsterdam, I mean, just all over. And uh, now we have the, the chance to go and make a large film. Was it a 40, over 40 awards you won? Yeah, it won 40 awards. That's and, uh, sick. Yeah, and, it was and Cans, which is the huge Yeah, well, one. we didn't win huge. that, but we, well, we, we showed our films. It's, it's yeah. still, but that's, that's big. Yeah. Like it, an entourage. That's right, yeah, it was just like entourage. It was like a dream. Yeah. Now, listen, it, it, unfortunately, it's almost your time, you guys. So Now, listen, did you, did you get any new opportunities through all of this that you've been going through lately? Well, I have a film coming out. Um, actually, yeah. I have two. Uh, one, I play Bradley Cooper's boss. Oh, he's in the movie? In the movie, yeah, he's in it, yeah. yeah that's the <laughs> they night let him night in it. Night Never Sleeps. I don't know why right? they let Bradley Cooper in there. Seriously, <laughs> guys, just um, <laughs> the night, The Night Never Sleeps, right? No, that's no, another no, one. Yeah, that's okay. another one. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, is that the name of the film? Yeah. The Night Never Sleeps? The Night Never Sleeps, yeah. 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 Okay, but good. Then uh, that's uh, the film we just shot out in... Um, in um, out Long, Long Island, Island. Mm -hmm. where uh, I'm from. Great, great cast: Eric Roberts, uh, Amanda Santé. Oh, I love Amanda. Uh, Robert Clahesse, Robert Clahesse. Robert uh, Clahesse, there you go. And, uh, I Robert Clahesse a hundred times. <laughs> 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 I went to Catholic school. I know that. Unbelievable! I was even in the shower going Robert Clahesse, Robert Clahesse. <laughs> Now okay. you got it. You'll never forget it. Now That's listen, right. is there a Facebook or MySpace anywhere anyone can get in touch with you at? Well, you, you can go on Robert's website, okay. robertclessy.com. You can go on my website, eliaspagianos.com or eliasnyc.com, uh -huh. which is a lot easier, or thecrimsonmass.com, and you should definitely watch it and get it. It's on iTunes, Best Buy, Target, everywhere, in Blu-ray and DVD. So. Sounds good. Now listen, Robert, when go. the movie comes out, I want you back on. We'll talk more. I apologize for the, to cut you short, but thank you very much. It was yeah, beautiful to see you. Thanks for having us. Great to see you. Thank you. Catch you now.